Terrell Owens, Tennessee Chattanooga. Field. Short drop, quick slant, and the first catch of the season for Terrell Owens. Terrell Owens, angry about his contract during training camp, and a lot to talk about with him as the evening progresses. Here's the play. And the first thing that he does is right there, he gets inside. You see that left hand? It just goes up to the corner's head, just pushes him to the outside, and he gets right inside. The corner is D'Angelo Hall. D'Angelo Hall, Virginia Tech. Issues that have swirled around him through the years and has handled every one of them almost perfectly. Flag is thrown. Here's Terrell Owens. The latest, of course, is the relationship between these two, McNabb and Owens, where Owens felt that he didn't have McNabb's back. He wanted a bigger contract. He got upset last year when he was hurt prior to the Super Bowl and McNabb and a lot of the others were saying you know what we'll just we can go out and win we, we've been to three NFC title games without him and Owens very sensitive took it personally Illegal formation on the offense the tackle was in man on the line of scrimmage five yard penalty See, Still that's, first down. that's the second time that that's happened in this first quarter and here's Terrell Owens and Donovan McNabb in the pregame you see they went by and did shake hands and then as they walk off the field after the initial pregame they kind of shook hands a little and I think that thing with Terrell Owens saying you know that the we've we've talked and we made up I think is partly true I think they've talked but I don't know that they made up I mean Donald McNabb just says yeah we've talked I mean he said something to me but that's about it surface conversations first down and 20 from the 18 yard line. And McNabb gets hit as he throws, going deep. And it's the Angelo Hall getting the inside position on the ball that floats into his hands. And then Hall out past the 40, into Eagle territory, to the 35-yard line. And McNabb took a shot, and he's paying for it. Yeah, well, the Eagles in that whole series were in four wide receivers. So that's a very difficult formation to protect from after he throws. And you're going to see why. And this D'Angelo Hall is the corner, number 21, second-year guy who's playing man-to-man man on Terrell Owens. He said he wanted that challenge. He wanted to see how he stacks up against the best. And I'll tell you, he is winning the battle, or he won that battle anyway. One of five Hokies, including Vic, who play for the Falcons. Here's Michelle. John, you were talking about the Terrell Owens, Donovan McNabb saga that continues to go on. Well, I talked to a bunch of their teammates this week, and they tell me that in practice and in the meeting rooms, things are really quite normal. They say that both of these superstars come to work simply to work and nothing else. Brian Dawkins, a 10-year vet and a team leader, told me he's talked to both guys one-on-one. -on -one. He knows they're eventually going to have a meaningful conversation. Even Donovan Those types of things. Joey Porter and William Green in the Pittsburgh Cleveland game got thrown out last year. And this will be the end of the period as Owens makes the catch and appears to be stopped a little short of the first down by D'Angelo Hall. So that will be the end of the first quarter at the Georgia Dome with this championship game to get these Eagles back. From the 32, Philadelphia starts with the first and 10. And Owens, who made the catch at the end of the first quarter, makes the catch on the first play of the second period. That's a 14-yard game, and Terrell Owens already has caught three passes tonight. Terrell with 39 receiving yards. And you see what Donovan McNabb did. He dropped one, Terrell Owens did, and then, as I said, you have to come right back to him. He had a second down and 12 now. McNabb, short drop, throws Owens again, and Owens picks up a first down as they get into Atlanta territory to the 41-yard line, beats D'Angelo Hall, gain of 16. Jim Morris said that, you know, he told D'Angelo Hall, just play him, don't say a thing to him, because Terrell Owens is the type of guy, if you talk to him, if you pop off to him, you'll motivate him. He said, just shut up and play him. And the Angelo Hall so far has played him pretty well. He has, even though Owens has caught four. 
Well, Morrow would know Owens very well because Jim was the defensive coordinator when Terrell was in San Francisco. And that pass is thrown behind Owens. And he's going down the sideline one on one with a five foot ten inch, 197 pound hole. It's incomplete. Second I think game. I think that's one of those things you read that that if the corner is on top or even you throw it short, you come back and get it. If the corner is behind, then you throw it up. And I think that Donovan McNabb is reading one thing and Terrell Owens is reading another thing. Before the game, I, I got a chance to talk to Terrell Owens. And last Wednesday was the Eagles off day. And he flew himself down to Houston to visit with evacuees who are staying at the Astrodome. He spent seven hours down there distributing, uh, you know, goods and, and just spending time with the people. He said he was so affected by the kids and the elderly. And it made him think about the kids and the elderly who maybe didn't make it out of there. So moved he was that he is putting his 2004 NFC championship ring up for auction on eBay. They got so many bids the first day, Al, they had to slow down the auction, pre-qualified bidders, and they'll have it up and running again. He hopes to raise, you know, at least six figures. You know, because they don't want to put a target on him. He just had hot heart bypass surgery. He's fine. Here's Owens. Breaks the tackle. Flag thrown, and then Owens is out of bounds at about the 50-yard line. Yeah, when we talked to the Falcons about what they had to do defensively, the first thing they said was tackle. And the, and the first guy they worried about was Owens, and the second guy was Westbrook. And, you know, Jim Mora was saying, I know Terrell Owens. And he told his guys he runs angry. You know, so when, when he catches that ball, he's going to catch someone, but you better tackle. That time they didn't. At the 50, they picked the flag up. No penalty on the play. The ball right at midfield. Checking down with a two-minute warning. Falcon showing blitz. They come up the middle, and that's picked up. And then McNabb lost it to the outside and too deep for Owens. Covered one-on-one -on -one by D'Angelo Hall. It was good coverage by D'Angelo Hall. That's something that Terrell Owens has to run under, and he reaches out. You see, he gets just that little bump was enough to throw the timing off. You see, and then if he if he would have had another step or two, he would have caught that ball. But D'Angelo Hall gets up on him and gives him that bump, and that little bump threw the timing off. I'm impressed with D'Angelo Hall. I, I watched him in practice the other day, and I said, you know, he's only a second-year guy, and I said, this guy is going to be one. Youngest guy on the team at 22. He's gotten anything that he wanted on him. Now, Hall is covering him, though. You see, he's getting up, playing him very aggressively, and then throwing him off stride right off the bat. But if you get man-to-man -man on Terrell Owens, you have to get him the ball. And, of course, he has to beat the guy, too. I know what Terrell Owens is thinking over there. That guy's out there man to man on me. I gotta, I have to beat him. I have to get the ball. Trip game won by Philadelphia 27 to 10 up in Philly. And that is caught on the run. Owens is up deeper. He runs his man off, and LJ Smith comes right underneath him. See, Owens runs his guy off right there. He's deep. L.J. Smith, that matchup, D'Angelo Hall, the second-year guy, and Terrell Owens, they really went after it the first half. I mean, D'Angelo Hall has great speed. He could be the fastest guy on the team, and he has great reactions, and he's going to find out a lot about himself tonight. When he's covering one of the top receivers in football, that time Owens made a miss, but then he has gotten his share, too. I mean, I really like the way that he played. He played aggressively. He didn't give him too much respect. He threw off his rhythm. Last season, Donovan McNabb had 20 completions that gained 40 or more yards. That's the highest for anybody since the merger in 1970. And, of course, a good part of that reason would be that man, Terrell Owens, who caught nine of those, a single-season high, since 2000. Third and seven. Over the middle, caught, Owens, first down, 40, and then out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Terrell Owens makes the catch. And for Owens tonight, that's seven catches. That one good for 19. And again, that same matchup we've been talking about all night. Here's D'Angelo Hall, number 21, on Owens. He does a pretty good job of bumping him, but then he kind of pushed him or knocked him the way that he wanted to go. He's running across, so then D'Angelo Hall is about four steps behind him. And you still have that cushion there. He'll take another one. First and ten. He looks that way. 
Pushing closes. And then he tries to hit Owens in stride over the middle. I think you're right. There was a cushion to cushion close, and that was what McNabb was looking at, so he had to go. That was his first three man line. McNabb throws, and Owens has that one deflected away. D'Angelo Hall and DeMorio Williams both covering. That was good coverage there. You see, see, here's where they're going to go right here to the outside receiver. You see a slot, and you get a double slant. And it looked like he got bumped, like Terrell Owens got bumped before the ball got there. D'Angelo Hall has been very, very aggressive on Terrell Owens. The drive on the plus side of the 50 at the Falcon 49-yard line. And McNabb throws, and the coverage is very good on Owens. D'Angelo Hall is right there. The rest of the season is going to seem like a breeze to D'Angelo after covering Owens all night. And when you start off your opener, and you're playing man-to-man -man the whole game against Terrell Owens. Anything else is going to be a lot easier. But he's done he's done an excellent job. I mean, he hasn't given him anything. He hasn't gotten off. He hasn't given that cushion. And I'll tell you, I don't think that Terrell Owens has really adjusted to that, you know, of getting away from that bump as easily as I've seen him do it over the years. The single coverage on the fade stop, second down and 10 at the 49-yard line. McNabb has a lot of time this time and throws and the ball is taken in at the 30 yard line but no Owens was not able to come up with the football hits the turf third down right, Terrell Owens got him on that one we talked about D'Angelo Hall being up and being aggressive on him that time he played off him Terrell Owens just came up and made an in move watch you see, see here he gave him that little cushion he plays off and then when Owens makes that in move he tries to close on it Good pass protection. Donovan McNabb really was able. McNabb out of the shotgun. They rush five, and that pass is incomplete. See him here, there. There he snaps the left leg up. Now the ball will be snapped. Fourth and ten. McNabb incomplete. He tried to go to Owens. He was blanketed by Hall, and now Hall can finally do a little trash talking with Owens. Uh, and he did because Jim Morris said just play him and shut up. Because if you don't shut up, you'll motivate him. I'll tell you, D'Angelo Hall played the heck out of him tonight. I mean, you take a second-year guy and, and he showed no fear. I mean, he was up there, he was bumping, he was running, he was doing all those things. And part of that is watch Rod Coleman here, number 75. That's the heat right up the middle, so there's no way that McNabb could step up. But this kid here is playing a heck of a game oh. now. He really has. <laughs> That's a tough assignment, and he, he was challenged, and he stood up to it. Philly without a timeout. And so the Philadelphia Eagles come in. Opening night in defense of their NFC title, meeting Atlanta, fell behind 14 to nothing and could never catch up. He has a sign already. Seventh straight season, the team that lost the Super Bowl loses its opener the next season. That streak continues. Coming up next, the post game show, the autotrader.com post game show highlights interviews, horse trader player of the game, Jim Mora, and the Atlanta Falcons. He'll go home and get a nice call from dad in the next 25 minutes. I'll bet you.